Welcome to Scorpio and two weeks. All right, family. So I got something new, right? I want to try to experience with. So I had ordered these um these two decks of date cards. It's called a uh, perfect date night questions. And uh, so what I want to do because a lot of you guys are dating you out there in the abundant streets, and spirit says I was like, well, how can I implement the two, the cards, and you know what I'm saying? What I want to. You know what, what? What you? What, what we should know at this time, Scorpios. So Spirit was like, "What we're gonna do is five, uh, five questions you should ask on maybe the next date night and why." So we're going. I'm gonna do the cards, shuffle, see which ones, which questions you should ask on your next date night, and then I'm gonna ask Spirit why you particularly should ask this when you're out. All right. So if y'all like stuff like this, just let me know in the comments. Or if you have another scenario in which we can play this dynamic, let me know. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay. Message of Clarity. Most high when it's dealing with our Scorpios that are on that dating scene. What is <laughs> what are a few questions they should ask? So the first question that we have, two cards actually came out. It says, Have you ever engaged in sexual activity with a person of the same sex? Could you be with someone who has? Why or why not? So let me ask you that question again. This is one of the questions Spirit says you should ask on your next date. And the reason why I feel like Spirit is saying this, first let me read the question again. Have you ever engaged in sexual activity with a person of the same sex? Could you be with someone who has? Why or why not? So that question, Spirit is wanting you to ask on your next day because I feel like maybe the next person that you have a that you come encounter with may have explored other other um, the same sex before. And also, Spirit says that these are some of the questions that you might want to make clear so it won't be any shocking surprises when, uh, if and when, um, you know, you start dating that person and something comes out. Most high, let me. Give one card on why should Scorpios ask this question. Spirit says you should ask this question because I feel like the next person that could come along could be somebody that you truly could be everything that you desire. And this will be a question that uh, can either, well, the answer can either make you feel, shift your, your energy towards this person or actually bring you closer. So that was the first question. The second question that you should ask on the next <laughs> on the next date that you are going on or your next date night is if your credit score was a person, describe what kind of person it would be. If your credit score was a person, describe what kind of credit score would it be. Now, the reason why I feel like Spirit wants you to ask this to per, to uh, towards your next person or your, your ne the person you're dating is because a lot of times we fail to ask the questions that that really uh make a difference once in a committed situation and i feel like spirit is this is like a great way to break the ice on knowing where someone is on the credit and financial uh stats so that when so so if and when the relationship evolves you will kind of know have an idea on what will be needed to move forward to have a more abundant and um and financially secure relationships. So let's see what Spirit has to say about this. Spirit, why should our Scorpios ask that question? Spirit says you should ask it so that there won't be any future discrepancies in the future. If you were to, uh, if that relationship was to evolve to the next level. So it won't be in the future problems on obtaining and getting things. Okay. So the third question <laughs> Spirit wants you to ask on your next date night is, <laughs> uh, yeah. it says your sex tape just leaked online. What's the first thing you're doing after you find out? So Spirit wants you to ask this question <laughs> for your person on date night. It says your sex tape just leaked online. What's the first thing you're doing after you find out? 
Uh, I feel like right now, Spirit wants you to ask this question. First of all, it'd be to lighten up the scenario and not just that, but to see where someone's mind, individual mind is. Uh, <laughs> most high spirit went see like, and, and also this is an opportunity to see if the person may have a potential sex tape that could be leaked. And also would they uh, like, you will know if this person will try to capitalize on it, how they will feel, will they feel okay with it? Or would they be, uh, would they want to try to get rid of the evidence or try to prevent any more exposure? And the and the reason why Spirit says that you want to ask this question because you want to know if you if you're going to deal with somebody that that you could have kids with if this is not so much as have kids with or if this is going to be somebody that has a a, a stable background or a, a background where you can really. Um, build on it's like because it depending on the answer you know if somebody be like well shoot i'm gonna go to Pornhub and see if if they go if they gonna endorse me <laughs> you know it's like man do i really want to move forward with this person that's just gonna be be okay with that thing all willy-nilly over the <laughs> all right oh most i what's the fourth question that our scorpio should ask their person on date night the next question Spirit says you should probably ask your person is, who hurt you? What have you done to heal? See, right now Spirit says that you, you want to want to ask this question so you can see where somebody is in their mind space on on and, and how much have they healed from from the person before you. Because a lot of times people do don't heal and they move to the next situation, which really puts the burden on the new person because now you have to not only deal with the this is if you choose to be in a relationship with them. Not only will you have to deal with your own healing, but you will have to take on some of the, the, the traumas from their past relationship that they haven't been focused on. And Spirit says, the reason why you want to ask this question is because you want to know how much is this person going to be capable of truly loving you from, from a place without bringing in baggage from other situations. So again, that question was, who hurt you? What have you done to heal? That's the question that Spirit wants you to ask them. Now, the last question that Spirit wants you to ask your person on your next date night, most high, when it's dealing with this. All right, ooh, two came out, so I'm gonna do double. Okay, so the first question is, describe your relationship with your parent of the opposite sex. How has it influenced the way you treat potential mates? Okay, so that question is, describe, this is what you would ask your person. Describe your relationship with your parent of the opposite sex. How has it influenced the way you treat a potential mates? So right now, this is, uh, Spirit wants you to ask this question because that this is to give you an idea on if there was trauma uh with the parent with with your person and their parent because usually childhood traumas do play out in 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 right now relationships and and this right now is to give you an idea what may be um what may be hidden like what's what lies beneath beneath the avatar, beneath the pretty smile or or the good looks or whatever. And this is to really know if there's going to be some internal trauma that needs to be addressed before you get mentally or especially emotionally, physically involved. The next question we have is from one to 10, how would you rate your sexual um, pose and why? Prowls, my bad, prowls and why? The reason why Spirit wants you to ask this in the next, in your next uh, dating is so that you can really see, are, will you and this person be uh, sexually compatible? Uh, how much experience has this person had? Will I need to bring out some whips and chains, you know, to keep this person happy or satisfied? And, and also Spirit says, because you wanna make sure to see if your passion and their passion is going to match. All right, Scorpios, that's all I got for you. Uh, if y'all like little videos like this, or if you would like me to do more uh, date night questions, then um, just let me know. And also, if, if you guys are interested in the, in the date night questions yourself, y'all let me know. And with the next videos, I'll start putting that in so you can, you know, start doing whatever you want to. If you want to purchase them, you can. I love you, Scorpios. Love yourself. Bye, family.